be built? Are they going to stay? You know, what is going to be the future for Charlie's and, and the owners and all the workers there as well? So, boy, a tough situation uh, in North Harris County this morning. So it's in the county. So Houston Fire Department is not responding. Is that what I've understood? So it's Harris County. So they're assisting. We've got some Harris County uh, firefighters out there as well. And some volunteer fire departments over there. We don't know if they're there, but I know that the Little York Volunteer Fire Department is right out that way. Okay. Um, but we are um, trying to get on the phone. Our, our last contact was with Harris County deputies uh, who were telling us that it did start at about 530 this morning. Um, and so just trying to, to get more information. Kathy Hernandez will be able to get a lot of that from right there on the ground on the scene um, when sky two zoomed out you could see that most of um, airline was blocked oh kathy is there now so kathy we want to um, go out to you what are you able to tell us from there on the scene well, good morning. We haven't got an update from firefighters just yet, but you can see this is just a huge, massive fire. The smoke is just billowing in the sky. On our way here, you could see this black, thick smoke for miles and miles. You can see it from across the city. We're here on Airline near Canino, where you can see the road is completely shut off as firefighters just rush and pour water on this restaurant. Charlie's Barbecue to try to control these flames. It started at 5.30 this morning and has just been raging out of control since we want to warn you please avoid this area if you can we do want to talk to several people here who have been here um, just watching the fire actually carlos owns the shop right behind it carlos tell us how close is your shop to this restaurant i'm right right on back right on back of the restaurant window tent shop how close is the fire now to your shop uh it's real close i'm, I'm Right in back of it. I, my friend of mine came by this morning and told me uh, that something's on fire close to your shop. I, he, he didn't know if it was my shop or what, but I woke up and came out here, and luckily it ain't my shop, but then again, no more barbecue. Well, no more barbecue, but but this is this is no more business. As a business owner yourself, you can see how devastating this yes. is. What are you thinking? What's going through your mind right now? I'm going to lose a lot of business as it is, so... But for the owners of this business, Charlie's Barbecue, for the customers, um, how is this? How is this uh, for y'all? Well, I just uh, hope for the best for for them and for me, <laughs> and for coast to coast. Also, I mean, you know, uh, they're going to rebuild. <laughs> They're going to rebuild, yeah, but obviously this is devastating for them. Charlie's Barbecue, obviously you can see it is destroyed now after this fire started early this morning. It started at about 5.30. This is airline near Canino. You can see fire trucks. As far as the eye can see, you can see fire trucks are blocking airline near Canino. Please avoid this area. Firefighters are now just rushing to put water on this fire. Hopefully that means that this can get under control very soon. But as I mentioned earlier, this black thick smoke is just billowing into the sky. You can see it for miles and miles from every freeway in Houston. Again, avoid this area if you can. We'll, of course, stay here, try to gather more information for you and bring you the latest in just the next few minutes. Hey, Kathy, Reporting live in North Harris County, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Kathy, can you hear me okay? Okay, we've, yes. we've had some question about the different uh, f fire crews that have responded. We've heard Little York, we saw an Aldine truck in your shot, uh, HFD possibly assisting. What can you tell us about the response and who all is out there? Well, we literally just walked onto the scene, yeah. but I can do. I can see that we have Aldine Fire, we have East Tex Fire Department, mm -hmm. we also have Little York, um, mm -hmm. and there's just a lot of fire trucks around here, but sure. that is, those are the ones that we can see right now. Right. Looks like about a dozen, more dozens of uh, firefighters are here trying to put out this, this huge fire. No, they're definitely going to pull out all the stops. We know that. Um, we saw some ladder trucks in the air spraying water on it. Kathy, yeah. stay with us if you will. I know that you've got some, some work to do out there, but, uh, but hang on with us if you could, because uh, we want to do continue to follow mm -hmm. this breaking news story for our folks at home. 8200 block of airline. We've been watching Sky 2 live over the scene. Charlie's Barbecue. It started about an hour and 15 minutes ago, this massive fire. Uh, they're starting to make some headway. We yeah. see the, the, the black smoke has lowered a lot, and, and the fire's gone down tremendously, Amy, since we first started watching. Absolutely. You can 
still see some really big flames there, but compared to about 20 minutes ago when we first started this, the whole thing was covered. So now you can see that it just looks like some hot, small yeah. flames there amid all of the, the black charred remains oh. of that restaurant. Charlie's Barbecue, 8200 block of Airline Drive. We're going to stay on this breaking news um, just to keep people alert in the area of, to what's going on here. Um, we're going to go to break right now. We'll be right back. And now we're going here live uh, 647 back with this breaking news story. Uh, Charlie's Barbecue burned to the ground on airline uh, North Harris County this morning. A sad story for those owners and folks who go to that business a lot. We've been uh, watching the messages coming in on Facebook this morning. This is a story we're continuing to uh, stay on top of. Britta, for our firefighters, low humidity and a little bit of wind this morning. Yes, uh, so we are tracking winds.